Hi everybody, happy December 6th. It is day six of Flossmas. May was already in here laying behind me while I was working. She loves to do that. Right, baby? She was super snuggly last night. I don't know if she wasn't feeling good. Like, she was very, very, very needy. Like, had to be on top of me. Like, when we went to bed, she had to be touching me. It was kind of... I mean, she loves to be pet and snuggled anyways, but it was really kind of out of the ordinary. And I was almost wondering, like, if her legs are hurting her... Um, I don't know if you all know she has severe chondro dysplasia, which is bow-leggedness in dogs. And um, she's been on like an anti-inflammatory and a joint supplement for since she's been like two and she's almost nine. Um, so, you know, we've taken very good care of her joints and everything, but I'm sure like anybody with joint and bone problems she's probably gonna have arthritis or has it already but the weird thing is is like my husband's ankle was hurting him like we you know we wonder if he has like arthritis so his ankle was hurting last night and my arms were hurting last night and I have chronic pain since I've had um well, I've kind of always had a little bit of pain but ever since I had COVID in March of 2021 um, it's wreaked havoc on my body, and so I do have pain every day. Um, I'm on a medication to help with it, but I was really in a lot of pain yesterday, so I don't know if it was like the weather, and it could have been infecting her too, poor girl. And it's so hard because, like, how do you know if they're in pain, you know? Um, but we just give her lovin's. I'm sitting here petting her, and she's got her head resting on my lap. But I bet a treat would make her feel better. Do you want to open your advent? Yes. Oh, she's licking my hand. She's getting excited. Oh, do you smell it? She's sniffing it. Would you like to open this for today? Are you so excited? Yes. Yep. Okay, let's do it. So today is day six, Megs. Well, let's open it and see. Day six is down here. And you guys know I've just given up on punching these, so... Let's pull it out. Okay. Oopsie. Oh, today is another bone. You like these ones. The bone with the sprinkles. Gentle girl. You gonna eat it right in front of me today? Instead of running out in the living room? Oh, what? Aren't you gonna eat it? Are you just waiting? Are you getting sick of them? No. I didn't think so. Are you gonna eat it? I had a couple of you ask me if I've tried any of these yet. I haven't, but I have, I've ordered from David's Tea for a long time, so I've tried a lot of their teas. I just keep forgetting about this. Like I open it and I set it down and then the day gets away from me and I forget. So I might try to make a conscious effort to make some today. I know the frosted cereal one kind of weirded some of you guys out, but I know. Who, had, who said cereal or tea? Not me. Did you eat half of it already? All right, so day six is right here. And let's see. Ooh, frozen raspberry. I can see big chunks of sugar. Stick them to the top. Okay, there we go. So good. I love raspberry. Let's see if we can turn it. Can you see the big chunks of sugar in there? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. All right. So let's look for that. What's it called? Frozen raspberries. How fast my mind forgets. Ah, shoot. I did it again. Ooh. It's hard to close this without them fucking. Okay, there we go. Frozen raspberries. Oh my God, am I blind? Here it is. Apple, sugar, raisins, hibiscus, blossoms, yum, carrot, yogurt pieces. Huh. Bee, beetroot, Artificial flavoring, raspberry, strawberry, 
cream and raspberries. I don't know what B-E-E-T-R-O-O-T -O -O is. That's strange. I don't know what that is, but hey, maybe I'll set this right there. <laughs> so when I walk out, I re see it and hopefully make some today. Okay. Next is Black Needle Society Day 6. I did scratch it off. Still haven't found my quarter. It's a mess in here. I really need to do some cleaning, but all right. So day six is in an envelope. Jeez. Okay. Oh, you look. The floor has sprinkles all over it. You got sprinkles all over Mama's floor and the carpet. I'm gonna have to vacuum. My Christmas list, a little notebook. All right. Exclusive Christmas list notepad. Katerina Book Designs. Keep track of the goodies you'd like to see under the tree or as a handy Christmas shopping list for others. All right, I don't use paper lists. This is very cute though. And I think, um, like I did last year, I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of this. And um, the things that I won't use, I wanna gift to you guys one of you guys um this will be in it because like i said i just don't use these types of lists and i'd rather it go to a home of someone that can use it um so things i don't use out of the box maybe i'll throw some other things i'm gonna do a giveaway um at the end so stay tuned for that so yay all right next i got a couple packages in the mail this is from the fat quarter shop I'm trying to find my scissors. Alright, there we go. Hi, baby. I'm finished. Alright, this is from the Fat Quarter Shop. I ordered some flosses that I needed for a project. I'm going to be starting a sale with my friend um, Chrissy. She is the unstitched stitcher. And we are going to be doing a Blackbird Designs that calls for Belle Soie, and we didn't like one of the colors. So we went ahead and ordered a couple more. The color that was in it, and I'll show you, maybe I'll pop on later or show you in another video. These are really similar. Thing back. Next, I got an order from Farm Girl. Um, I'm on her Patreon, and she did, um, I think it was 25% off for uh, Black Friday weekend, so I ordered a couple things. I ordered, oh, I got two more packs of 11 by 11 Q snaps. This one popped open. So I got those, because you rarely can get these on sale. And then... I got a couple of charts. Two more minutes. I can do this. Um, she had some um, birds of a feather. I love them. And she had some of their out of print ones. So I grabbed Lost Spirits and Holiday Seasons. And then I thought this was gorgeous by Lily Violet. So I grabbed that too. So that is what I got in the mail today. I'm gonna throw those back there for now, put them away later. And I've gotta hop back on work. Hi everybody, I'm trying a tea. Um, I just got off the treadmill. I do, um, do about 20 minutes a day um, just to keep my body moving. My doctor is like, you need to be moving because you know of all my pain and stuff. But I always um, do 20 minutes. It's like the perfect amount of time to watch an episode of Jeopardy every day. And is anybody else watching Jeopardy? Because this current champion is like, whoa. Um, yeah, so you have to let me know your thoughts below if 
you watch it. Okay, anyways, I have everything out here. I have put my water in the microwave. I don't have a teapot. I'm not fancy like that. I like one, but, and it needs to be about 200 degrees. So I have this quick read thermometer. It was just, I checked it a little bit ago. It is, it was at like 205, so I let it sit for a second. Now it's only at 191. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for um, 20 seconds. So yeah, about Jeopardy though. I am so curious to see how far he goes because like they just said on last night's episode, he is top four for the dollar amount he won and top five for the number of games he's won. So I mean, with last night's episode, it might be more than that higher than that now but so anyways let's see what it's temp is now oh now it's at 205 again oh well we're gonna go with it all right so i have one of these it's for loose leaf tea um it's from i think we got it from either tibana back in the day or david's tea one of the two um and so well i'm gonna put i'm gonna do frosted cereal for this whole thing, you need um, 16 ounces of water. I'm only gonna do half of it right now, so I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it and do eight ounces of water because I'm gonna put it in my cup with some creamer too. So let's dump some in here. Oh, I found a mush marshmallow. Oh, that's about half, just one marshmallow. Let me show you. I can't flip it, so I'm going to try to go upside down here with it and show you. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can see it in there. Sorry if that made you dizzy. Okay, I'm going to put my water in here. And the directions said five plus minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for five minutes, and then I'll be back. So, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Second timer, five minutes, starting now. Do you want to name this timer? No. Funny story my first timer is so that I don't run over on my lunch because um, time can get away from you very easy and I don't want to go over my lunch time. So anyways, I'll be back in four and a half minutes now. All right, I'm going to hop back on here quick. I'm actually just going to add the rest because when I'm looking at it, it really doesn't look like a lot of tea in there and I like mine flavorful, so we're just going to use it all. So dumping the rest in there, empty. So that was day five, so I'll be back and we'll test it, taste, test it together. Okay, it's been about six minutes. So let's do this. I actually going to show you, you can see the big pieces of um, cereal, corn flakes or frosted flakes or whatever they are in there. The, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you, but the um, marshmallows melted a little bit. It smells not like something I would normally choose, so let's let's try this. So I've got a really pretty clear glass. It's also by David's Tea. And um, this thing is really cool because you can just set it on the glass and then it empties the tea into there. So remember, I only did eight ounces. So let's try this. Okay. And I am a creamer person. Um, so my favorite creamer is this one. So let's put some in there and see. <laughs> Made it white. actually really good by the smell of this I wasn't too sure because it kind of smells like I don't know I can't even describe it but let's let's see I'm trying to fish out the that's what's left of the marshmallow that's good but yeah, I think I like it. I 
I have to say I'd probably buy this if I placed a David's tea order. It would be a really good evening tea. Um, remember that I only did, I have a caffeine free box because I wanted to be able to make them into iced teas that I can maybe drink in the evening and then warm teas that I can drink in the evening too. Hmm. You guys, I like it. I think that if you're going to order from David's Tea, if you like um, sweet, you know, teas and like, I don't know. I don't know, sweeter teas, I guess. Um, I would definitely try this. I'm gonna drink it all. So that's what I got for now. I will pop on later. I have not worked on my Santa stamp collection at all today. So today is um, ribbon candy. And to be honest, I had to look at it and I was trying to figure out what it was until I scrolled down. Um, I love ribbon candy. like. I mean, I don't like eat it and I could just take it or leave that, but it's like really nostalgic for me because my grandpa always had that. And um, so I actually was looking at it and I was like playing around with um, the way it looks. So I might even like do my own thing in that box, but I will hop on later and give you guys an update on that. Um, if I don't have time, to work on well I'll be home tonight but I don't know like if I'll get it done tonight I don't know whatever I'll hop on later regardless all right take it easy guys I will see you later bye hey everyone um I am just gonna end the video here today may I go sit in on mama's lap mama done working um because I probably won't be able to stitch for another hour and I want to get this video up so I'll show you my update for stitching tomorrow I'm editing the video, um, so I hope you all have a good evening, and I will talk to you.